Welcome back, friends. I have a trusty, trusty shovel in hand, and I've been working on here my hollow mountain for a little bit, and I have a little bit of the dirt cleaned out. I'd say this is probably not, not even a quarter done, but I got it all dug out here. It looks pretty good from up there. All you see now is this gray, so you can tell things are getting done. And I got a little bit more to do here. Let me just dig out. That is not the way out. How do I get out of here? I can go this way. Okay, so I'll just plop that back. So you can see I've done this quarter, but I still have this half to do. This half won't be too, too bad, I think. Because uh, it just comes... To, well, okay, maybe it is a little bit bad. So, quarter done-ish, but that's not a big deal. It's it's getting done. It's getting done. What I've been doing is I've been using one level to enchant a diamond shovel with... Uh, generally it generally gets efficiency. Uh, maybe one of these times I'll get efficiency end on breaking. That would be cool, but they last, last good enough. Uh, now I need to go do a little bit of farming, uh, both animal and vegetable kind. So let's head on over there. I thought I had a carrot. Uh, I don't know why I thought that. And I went looking through all my chests, everywhere I own, and I didn't find it anywhere. Uh, so it's been a little bit, it's been a few Minecraft days since I was here, or since the last clip, because I had, because I didn't have the carrot, I went and looked for zombies at night. And um, nothing spawned. I'm like, what? Why did nothing spawn? And so I went into uh, creative mode, doing my administrative things, and I teleported to Ian, who was on the server. And he, let's just say, had way too many spiders in his AFK spider grinder. So I yelled at him on Skype, and he fixed that up. So that's, that's why nothing spawned, and I have no carrots. Because somebody told me that a golden carrot uh, breeds horses, so, I wanted to try that out, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing that today. Well, unless we find one. But what we do need to do is we need to kill some cows. Oh, I was supposed to kill the big cows before. Crud. Alright, well, screw that. Actually, no, I gotta do it now, because I want to do it all the timing. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some extra wheat I got and breed the bigger cows down below. That way I can kill them and whatnot. It's all about killing cows. You know, we got the old slaughterhouse. So this is working really good. I like this. I like this a lot. Excuse me, Mr. Cow. And I'm hoping that I can kill these big ones without killing the little ones. That's always tough. So if I just... I wish I could... Okay, we'll just have to do it carefully. Alright, moving on. I'm going to go and find that other horse. If you guys remember a few episodes ago when I got my first horse, the very stubborn one. Let's go and find him. There he is, right where I left him. So let's see how stubborn he is. Oh, what am I doing wrong again? I always forget what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. And we're supposed to get hearts just by hopping in. There, okay, that worked. So I brought a saddle. And I brought some gold armor so we can differentiate him from our original one. Oh, we're stuck in a tree. And this guy, I think, has uh, two more hearts than our first one. He also seems to be faster. This is going very well. I expected to struggle with this guy. Um, also, question, is there some sort of stat to see how fast he is? I don't know. This guy does seem a heck of a lot faster, though. Oh, I love seeing through the world. It's my favorite thing ever. What do we got down there? I just like to see if I can see any dungeons or anything. There's a lot of unexplored caves, that's for sure. And the thing is, with a dungeon, you know, they're so small and just mixed in with everything, you can't really tell if you're seeing a dungeon or not anyway. Okay, so we got two horses. Now I need a quest for carrots. Oh, I just harvest some more melons and some more pumpkins. This guy is wicked fast. That's crazy. Where is my other horse? Uh-oh. He sh should be right here. What? I'm sad. Where's Mr. Diamond Horse? Okay, well, we'll forget about him for right now. I'm sure he'll just magically show up. Um, I'm a little stressed out now. I'm gonna go to my sleepy bed and cry. Okay, I found the other horse, but now the golden armored horse is gone. Wow! It has literally been like three seconds since I left him there, and he just seems to be on his way home. Now, how did this guy get untied? Who cares? Who cares? Looks like we're going to have to build a pen, that's for sure. 
because these uh, leads, as good as they are, they're just not cutting it. Because he can escape? There. You stay there. I'll go get your friend. Now, I don't know, now that this uh, catastrophe, this horse disaster is over, now I'll figure out what I'm going to do next. Where is he going? Is he going, like, back to his home? Or is he just, like, going a direction and whatnot? Alright, moving on. Decided to do some caving, uh, because I think I figured out, oh my goodness, I think I figured out that zombies drop potatoes, because I was killing a zombie at night, and uh, he dropped a potato. So I don't think I can get a carrot from them, so I'm going to try and see if I can get it from one of these dungeons. Uh, nope, but I got a disc, that's cool. Some more saddles for when we breed our horse army. And, uh, I don't know, I'm just exploring, that's all I'm doing. So hopefully I can find a potato. If not, uh, at least I'll get lots of coal and lots of iron, because that's my main focus. Because I'm not even going down. You know, like most of the time when you go caving, you're just heading down to diamond level. I'm not really interested in the diamonds right now. I'm just more interested about um, dungeons. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Actually, hold the boat. Hold the boat. Um, because I actually need way more arrows, I should mark where this is. And then, I can make this into a grinder. That sounds like a good plan. These guys are mean. Alright, carrying on. Just got home, and this was in my house. What? What is this? I am so confused. That is the weirdest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, thank goodness it's not hostile, but... Wow, is it creepy. Creepy, creepy. Alright, I found nothing new since uh, you guys were here. I only pressed record because that creepy thing staring at me was in my house. Oh man, oh man. And it's also nighttime. Yeah, nighttime. Good. He's gone.